हरे कृष्णा टू बी एजर्टिव वी समटाइम्स नीड टू बी एग्रेसिव एडिक्वेटली एंड एडेप्टली वेन एवर एनी पर्सन स्टार्ट attacking us or troubling us we can have broadly three responses which correspond to the three modes of material nature in tamas the mode of ignorance we may just become passive and feel sorry for ourselves going to self pity oh people are so terrible everybody walks over me and this is very disempowering so being passive is unhealthy sometimes we may be aggressive you did this to me i will do this to you and that can escalate into terrible uh, conflicts and may lead to vendetta wars that can go across for generations so being aggressive is in rajas the mode of passion and that also makes things worse although in terms of confrontation not exploitation however the best response is to be assertive that means to take a stand and stay fixed on that stand to focus on a purpose and to pursue that purpose and to not let the other person interfere with that purpose this will mean that if we are trying to achieve something important some in our, in our, according to our principles then we take a stand and we we are, we are assertive so here we are not against that person but we are against that person's interference in what we are doing against that person's obstructing us in what we are doing so even if we have to take a stand now sometimes while taking a stand we may also have to be aggressive but the aggression within as a aggressiveness which comes from assertiveness is different from the aggressiveness that comes from vindictiveness so aggressiveness from vindictiveness is just tit for tat you did this to me and i'll do that to you but aggressiveness from assertiveness is that i won't let anything come between me and my purpose if, if we have some virtuous valuable thing to do then we can't let people with their own western interests obstruct that so we need to be aggressive at times but when the aggressiveness comes from assertiveness it is it is adept and adequate it is adept it means it is not indiscriminate and it is not excessive so we don't hit and injure and eliminate and destroy the person we just ensure that they don't come in our way so just proportionate adequate uh, aggressiveness is important and the bhagavad gita is spoken on the kurukshetra war field and in the kurukshetra war field the pandavas when they are fighting with the kauravas they are being assertive they are standing up for dharma they are standing up for krishna who is the lord of dharma and they are fighting not so much to destroy the pand kauravas but to establish the rule of dharma and this is the significance of the battlefield setting and the pandavas are ready to fight as is, along with krishna himself who is there on their side as a charioteer and counselor as described in 1.15 in the bhagavad gita that how krishna and arjuna they all blew their conch shells indicating their readiness to be assertive panch janyam rishi kesho devadattam dhananjaya paundram dadmau mahashankham bhima karma vrakodar that arjun and krishna blew their conch shells and so did bhima who had a huge conch shell proportioned to his huge body but the idea is the pandavas are being assertive and they set an example for us to be assertive without necessarily be aggressive wherever possible and becoming aggressive wherever essential but in a adro adept and adequate way that means not in an indiscriminate excessive way but for pursuing our purpose not for hitting back other person simply to hit back at them thank you hare krishna